Hi, today I would like to show you our new and improved map integration in Project GC. We are still uh, basing our maps on uh, an open source, source software called Leaflet. It's a JavaScript library for handling maps. Um, but um, we have done some changes in how we have implemented it and added some more new cool stuff to it. So let's take a look. Uh, I'll choose Map Compare because it can give you a good showcase for this. I've already shown some filters that feels relevant for this test. Um, oops. The first thing uh, you might notice is that we have added a minimap down here to the right. Uh, if you can uh, minimize it and take it back and away and so on. Uh, you might notice that uh, the cache icons have got an additional icons in the corners. Uh, there's a smiley uh, in the upper right corner for every cache that I've found. Uh, to the bottom right, we can see it here for example, there's a pen. Uh, it's when I have a cache note written on that cache that the uh, ProGC is aware of. Uh, to the bottom left, there's a checkbox. It's for uh, when I have corrected coordinates for the cache. Uh, also, only when ProGC is aware of it. Uh, and uh, Let's see, to the upper left corner, uh, not used in NFEs, is uh, for when the cache is added into ProgeGC's virtual GPS system. It's a system built uh, for managing caches where you can uh, e export them to uh, GPX files later on and so on. It's a uh, very good util if you're planning traveling somewhere, you want to hand pick caches from everywhere at ProgeGC, for example, top favorites, you're uh, looking at the map and finding uh, climbing caches and so on. You can all throw the, just throw them into virtual GPS and later on you can uh, build a GPX from it. It's really neat. Anyway, uh, next thing that we have added is that you can see down to the left, you can always see the coordinates of where you have your cursor. Um, a while back, we added a measure distances tool uh, for example, if I want to uh, measure how far it is to walk around this... I don't know, I would wa walk around the caches, I would actually want to walk to every one of them. But anyway, it's about 9 kilometers. At this point, the metric tool is only supporting the metric system, not the imperial system. We'll try to look into that at a later point. Uh, just as before, we can choose different tile layers here. Uh, we support Google Maps, Google Satellite and OpenStreetMap. Uh, this is a bit special for map compare and maybe some other pages. Uh, for all the caches that only I have found is in a special layer, but both are found in another layer. If uh, it was, if there were some caches, as caches that only my friend has found, it would be in another layer. And if this, there were caches that none of us has found had found, they would be in a fourth layer. But in this case, uh, I have found all of them and my friend has found some of them. But uh, by checking this, you can see that parts of the caches disappears. So uh, what have we more done? We have added a cool geocaching icon here. Uh, it's either available when you mouse over it or you can click it to get it sticky. Uh, so you have some icons here. If you remember that I told you there was a checkbox for those I've corrected coordinates on. This is related. Uh, this is a paid feature. Uh, some features of ProGC are for subscribers only. And uh, this is one of them. By checking or clicking this, the caches will flip from corrected coordinates to normal coordinates. It's only for those that I have corrected on myself. As you can say, uh, see, two caches stays, and uh, those do not have a checkbox on them. The traditional, obviously, is at that spot. The multi-cache is somewhere else, but uh, I haven't stored the coordinates for it. There's a little star here. Uh, it hides all the caches that I own myself. In this case, there are no caches that I own. Uh, and uh, there's actually a point I missed. I told you about the smiley uh, on top of the... Uh, caches here. If I would own a cache, it would be a star instead. If I have, if I own a cache and have logged it, the star will have priority and the star will be seen. 
and uh, then the smiley maybe you can guess what it does it hides all the caches that i have found in this case all of the caches and there is uh, this little circle uh, and it will uh, replace the obsolete map coverage tool at some point it actually adds uh, circles around all the caches with 161 meters radius uh, or 0 0.1 mile and um, if I flip between corrected coordinates and non-corrected, you can see that uh, it follows them nicely. There are different colors on the circles. Um, the light blue ones are uh, for those that I've corrected on. The yellow one are for multi. Uh, it's green for traditionals. You can probably see that here. Uh, it's a darker blue if I don't have corrected for the cache. And uh, there's actually two different yellow oranges for multi caches as well. All other caches uh, oh, have black circles. So I think that this actually is uh, everything that I wanted to show you this time. Uh, I hope you enjoy this new map system. I worked quite a lot on it, and uh, especially the corrected corners has been a requested feature several times. Enjoy!